Okay. Good morning. So, what we've got here is our six meets the seven, and that's what that's the end result. Head to head. here. No, I'm in charge here. That's a female and a male. So. Yeah, female and male. So they'll, they'll go through this rank thing for a day. But I've got to move them out of this pasture, the house pasture, and move them over to the first pasture. It's the furthest distance away from the mums. If you look down through the yards there, right in the distance is all the mums at the fence. Because they're all waiting to come up and, and uh, have a go at one of these bales. It's Monday. It's, hello, here we go. This is what I want to happen. Uh, they've introduced themselves. Now I've got a trailer load of Rhodes grass down here. My idea is that, come on guys, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go. The idea is that they'll follow the trailer with the roads grass in, of course. They've all had a taste of it. So, yum yum roads grass here. Come on guys, come and get it. They definitely love it, that's for sure. So, these guys, they want to get going. These guys here, they're going, what do you guys got? What do you guys got that I haven't got? Come on, into it. So what I'll do is, uh, I'll start up the quad bike. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, they're only young. Eight months old. Seven, eight months old. Come on guys. I'll just go down to the road and park. Let's get out of the road here and park. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on girls! Boys! Come on! Move it around a bit, pretend I'm playing in it. Usually get some excited a bit. Oh, here we go. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, girls! Come on! Oh, these guys are into it. 03, 08, they the originals. Come on! One's going the wrong way up there. Here comes five of the... Come on! Hey girls, boys, you like that? I'm on 10, he's a friendly, friendly bull. Where's 14, where's my girl? 14, she's adorable, 14. Zero, one, four. Come on! Hello, a couple still, couple still mooing back at the mums. One's gone back into the pen up there. Come on! Come on! Yeah, hello. 
turn around. What are you guys doing down there? What's happening? What's happening there? Come on. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, wait for me, wait for me. Wait for me, are you guys doing something without me? Seven. Oh, no, seven. Okay, so that's one of the ones I've just weaned. And we have one in the yards up there, of course. What do you think, guys? This is pretty good yum yums. Hmm? There's 14, there's my girl. Hey, baby. Come here. You hit your head. You've been fighting, haven't you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, that's a good, that's, that's, come on, come on, once they do this once or twice, it might be a problem, come on, come across the road, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Now. So what we'll do now is we'll We've got them all in here except for one. So this grass will keep them happy. So we'll just come on, come on, ten. Let me out. Let me out. We'll throw all this in here, kids. Hey, okay. put all this in there. Here it comes. It's out of the yards. Come on, kids. Wandering down. I hear you. Come on. Almost to the road. Come on, on the road. Come on. Just at the gate now. Come on. Come on, baby. Just gotta get through the gate. Then I can close it. Right, eh? Totally isolated from the mums. And we'll just go back and finish. Put the grass. Come on, girls, move it. Good kids. Hay, road grass, whatever you want to call it. 
Hey, 15. How you going? You're a good boy, aren't you? Now, 15 is a good boy. I want to swap this boy for another bull calf. And who are you? Are you 14? Hey, 15? You 14? Yeah, you're 14, you're my girl. The idea is 014 here, she's friendly. And 015, he's a bull calf. He's friendly too. Bit of hand feeding. And this guy will be amazing. So 015 is probably eight month bull calf. What I want to do is find someone out there, someone out there that's got different genetics and I want to do a swap. 015 little bull calf for one of your bull calves so that we can get the genes because what I want to do is I've got at least three heifers um, that are really friendly and I want to keep those heifers but I can't breed with our bull, Ro. He's a great bull. He's had 30 calves in two years. But if, if I want to keep this girl here and breed from her and a couple of others, I need a different bull. So anybody out there looking at the video, if you know somebody who's got purebred drought masters, no papers, just purebred drought masters, um, polled, I want to swap a bull for a bull at eight months age, just yearlings. All right, um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll just finish off here. Hey, 15, there you are. There's my boy. You're a good boy. Finish off here. I should do the roads grass. I've been talking to him. Talking to a bloke, Jet. I'll give you a shout out, Jet, um, about roads grass. Beautiful thing about roads grass, this is not certified, but I do know the, the grower of it. And it's not pure roads grass, it's got something else in it, which he grows, he, oh, he swaps his crops, and it's got a beautiful smell about it. Um, it always leaves my hands smelling. And these cattle know it. And it is roads grass. I don't end up with weeds and stuff in the yard, different. It's a terrier and it's a terrier is a horrible grass um, but it's it's thick around here and fortunately we've only got a patch just up on the driveway there of it so if you get a bale of roads grass and you want to spread it in your paddocks roll it out and let your cattle go through it they'll eat 90% of it the other 10% they'll walk in and the seeds from it um, they'll either be ingested by the cattle and get pooped out all over the place and then sprout the right time of the year, or just the, the hoofs pushing it into the ground will make it sprout. We've got a lot of rose grass in this paddock out here, over behind here. Um, it's where I fed them last year. Where I fed the, fed the calves last year. We've got road grass coming up here thick, absolutely thick. And you can see patches of it. There, you've got patches of roads grass in amongst the cooch. Um, I have seeded this pasture and probably 5% of it took. Um, but the best way is to actually roll out your, your hay, let your cattle eat it, 90% of it, 10% gets walked in. The absolute best way of getting roads grass into your paddock. Every time you put a bale out, put it out in a different place and roll it out. Just don't put it in a place like I put it. Just roll it out in a big long strip, usually a couple of inches thick, and um, the cattle will plant it for you, and they'll also eat it and pop it everywhere. Um, but you want to buy roads grass from a, a place where you know it is roads grass. Some people get carried away with certification I don't care about that. Price, price, and quality is, is the thing I look for. Anyway, um, that's that's the thing about roads grass. This roads grass is 
I'm pretty sure it's first season cut. It got, uh, it's got the seed heads. Oops. It's got the seed heads in it, and it's full of seed. Absolutely full of seed. So that will end up right through your, your pastures. Hey girls, there's, there's some more in here in its natural deep rose grass seed, Mo big heads, they big heads. This this rose grass grown at Sexton near Gympie was fertilized and irrigated from the Rary River. It's very important that it grows strong and grows well and um, it's a beautiful quality. And as you can see by these guys here, there's no question and they'll eat this completely into zero. They get this once a week at mon on Mondays, Monday's heyday. And uh, 10, 15 here, you are, boy. Come here, boy. Come on. Hey, darling. You're a good boy. He's a good boy, that one. 015. It's a nice colour. Not sure who 015's mother is, but I'll walk that up.